meteorologist Brittany Lawrence. Sponsored by West Tech Foundation Repair. Well, welcome back to KSEN News. Some nice weather and windy conditions are on the way to the Contra Valley. Just like today, we're in March and we're feeling gusty and breezy conditions continuing as we look at our weather headlines. Breezy weather today, well, now winds are starting to be a little lighter than they were gusting around 30 miles per hour, but they will kick back up. We did have a red flag warning in effect. That has now expired at the 10 o'clock hour, but warm days, promise you, are on the way to the Contra Valley with well above temps going into this week as well. Now, today was a pretty warm day. We started out early in the 70s, early Earlier today got a high of 79 degrees, tapered down into the 60s. Now we're in the 10 o'clock hour in the low 60s. Saw a little more cloud cover coming to the area going into the afternoon. Now things are starting to clear out for us, and that's what's going to cause temperatures to drop back into the 40s. Reach 79 today, again, well above average, not where we're supposed to be, around 72. Warm this morning as well at 51 degrees. Around this time of year, we're at 45 degrees. Now, we saw those elevated fire risks. Why? Because of the dry conditions. And as you can see, most of us across the Contra Valley is in the moderate, severe, or getting even some of us skimming those extreme drought conditions. Not getting a lot of rainfall for March. We just have not done well with that going forward. And those winds, this is what they're looking like now here in Tom Green at nine miles per hour out of the northwest. Most of us are starting to taper down a little gusty still out of, with some team wind speeds out to the eastern part. They are getting the back end of that trough that moved through with that low pressure system. As we go into the next couple of days, winds will continue to gust ahead of another trough that will come through our region Thursday and give us a chance maybe for some of us get more breezy conditions and just some cooler weather overall. Right now, we're in the low 60s. Most of us, some of us are in the 50s, like in Wall at 58 degrees in Sterling City. So some of us are getting a little more radiational cooling going forward into tonight. But this is where the cold front is currently. It was through our region coming this early afternoon. Now it has pushed pretty much through it, bringing some warm convection with that warm front into that area to our east. Some storms there for the Houston area in eastern Texas. Was in the Dallas area early this afternoon. Now they're getting a little more active storms. Taking a closer look there, along Interstate 30 going towards Louisiana portions and uh, in Interstate 69 as well. Just pretty much wet, uh, east of Austin area, getting some active weather right there this night. But tonight, we won't be as active as them. Things will be calming down for us with temperatures getting into the low 40s as well, getting clear conditions, good radiational cooling by 3 a.m. hour. Those winds start to be a little lighter. And we expect them to pick a little bit up tomorrow, but overall not gusty like we were. We will see to get windy more come Wednesday to Thursday ahead of our next system. But beautiful weather on the way to the forecast Wednesday and Thursday. Again, those, those winds showing on the mantra are getting a little more gusty for Thursday, Friday. Maybe most of us will be in the upper 60s and 70s. Some of us may be a little trending into the mid-60s. Saturday, we warm back up into the low 80s and upper 70s into Sunday as well. Another windy day ahead of another trough that comes through this one may possibly bring us a chance for some showers. We'll be watching that one that comes Monday into Tuesday. There possibly could be a strong system that comes across Texas. Now, your St. Patrick's forecast, I'll go ahead and give you the taste on that. There'll be temperatures in the 50s that morning when you wake up, and then we'll get into the 80s. So we'll be really in the warm trend for St. Patrick's Day in the next couple of days. And by that evening, we will be in the 70s. So some cool weather coming to the Contra Valley moving forward. But if you was wondering what tomorrow will be looking like in the morning, well, temperatures will start in the low 40s and then rise up into the 50s overall. Nothing too special with, with that. Eventually, we'll get down into the 40s and the low 40s and then rise back up into the 70 degree mark. In the next five days, more beautiful weather in the forecast with plenty of sunshine. Cold fronts come through. A couple of them, one weaker that came today, tomorrow, and tomorrow will be cooler. But then we'll also see temperatures rise back up into the week ahead of another system that comes through Thursday into Friday that drops us down into the 60s. But the 80s do return by next week. And we'll be back with more KSN News.